non-governmental organization, Stephanos Foundation has disclosed that 4,357 people were killed and 1,791 abducted in 686 instances of violence in the last one year. The program coordinator of the group made this known while addressing journalists in Abuja on the massacre in Plateau State noted that in 22 years, the foundation has recorded 5,344 instances of violence that claimed 41,879 lives. The coordinator, while calling on the federal government and international community to bring lasting peace in Plateau State by arresting and persecute the perpetrators, demand for the strengthening of the security architecture in the frontline communities. In 22 years, from 2001 to 2023, Stephanos Foundation record, recorded a total of 5,344 instances of violence that have claimed the lives of 41,879 Nigerians. The record shows that 1,296 of these instances were Boko Haram violence that killed 17,406 Nigerians. Some 1,248 instances were of Fulani attacks that killed 14,605 people. Others include 2,716 violence of unknown gunmen killings that have killed 6,459. Some are 84 instances of religious mob violence killing 3,409 and a total of 11,552 cases of kidnappings all around the country. The recent attack of 23rd to 26th of December 2023 was the worst hit resulting in the simultaneous attack of 24 villages through a well-coordinated and premeditated plan by the Fulani terrorists and their hired machineries from Nasara State and other neighboring states. Response has not always been easy because of the challenges of logistics and somewhat double dealings by security agencies. Most early warning signs of plans attacked are received and made available to the security agencies, yet such attacks will still go on. The next thing they do is to arrest our young men who may want to put a resistance. And the next thing, the security agencies will round them up and most of them are languishing in jails today. The location of those people tormenting us is not unknown. But the security agencies have refused to act. And we're calling on the world today to know that they, their hideouts are not in any way in a mystery. We know their hideouts. And but why have they not been visited? We call on the federal government to strengthen the security architecture in, in the frontline communities. We call on the federal and state governments to return all internally displaced persons to their ancestral land with adequate security to prevent the looming food crisis because of these attacks. We call on the on security agencies to monitor people with unguarded utterances and bring them to order. The government should ensure the implementation of white paper reports of judiciary commission. Culprits arrested should be prosecuted where, where they are arrested. Distorted news carriers with false claims should be checked and prosecuted. <music>